I have to be honest, I didn't really have the confidence in him at the start. I, <coughs> I walked into the Mariners, my first job in the A-League, and I wanted an experienced goalkeeper. I lost Danny Vukovic, club sold him to Turkey, and I ended up uh, getting Jess Van Stratton. Two weeks into the competition, Jess Van Stratton did his ACL, and it was the day before a game. I had to throw Matty in, and <laughs> basically the rest is history. I think he felt as well that I didn't have that first belief in him and trust. But uh, he just had this attitude that he wanted to prove me wrong. John Crawley, his mentor, had this huge belief in young Matty. He was trying to convince me year one, and, you know, to give the kid a chance. The kid won't let you down. And after we lost Volkovic, as things turned out, they couldn't have turned out any better. He came to me and said, I've got so much more to give you. I want to start being involved in the training sessions with my feet. And I said to him, no, I just want you to kick the ball out the back of the net, that's all right. <clears throat> he said, no, no, like the training sessions would build up and that I actually want to be part of it. So we started including him in possession drills and, and build up and with his feet. And uh, he started growing in stature and, and physic, uh, fit the physical side of it. And by him starting the build up from the back, you know, with the ball at his feet, left foot, right foot, playing it wherever on the pitch that, that he wanted to. And then the last year, I think we probably played some of the best football. He was getting impatient year three about, you know, what his next step was going to be. He was always panicking and he had many conversations of, he felt that he wasn't tall enough to play in the English Premier League. That was the feedback. He went to Tottenham for a trial and the feedback that came back was, he's only one metre 80, one metre 82. In the UK, we want goalkeepers at a 195. So I think he felt that was a, that was something that could have stood in his way. Then the offer came from Club Bruges, big club obviously in Belgium, and you know, and he went over there as a second keeper, and you know, the same sort of thing happened over there. You know, he goes over there, and pre-season number one goalkeeper got injured. Matty got his chance. He took it. Second keeper in. He never got back in and then Matty moves on to Valencia, but uh, you know, he's always had that in his genes. Goalkeeping's not only tough on the pitch, you know, it's off the pitch as well because of social media and media. If a goalkeeper makes a mistake, it gets highlighted more than if a striker makes a mistake. And uh, I saw a part of him this year where after the Japan game <coughs> with the Socceroos, so it wasn't a real Matty Ryan. And I think he felt that the Valencia move was a failure. And it wasn't a failure, it was a lesson in life. You know, and if you if you look at those type of things that certain way, then yeah, then it can bring you down. So I talk to him quite a bit now and I've got a guy that works with him as well that uh, helps him mentally, gives him the belief and the confidence and just uh, like a mentor to talk to. And, you know, what he's doing at Bright now, I just saw this morning he had a, he had a great game this morning and uh, he's doing the whole country proud. He's always been very appreciative of where he's come from. And as I said, he's got a beautiful mother and, and his sister. Um, you know, he grew up without a father and, uh, you know, he's, he always appreciates the life he has now. And uh, I know, you know, the fans are always special to him. Um, I try to tell him to get off social media a lot, but he's, he loves the social media, but uh, you know, I saw what he did to, for a, a young kid, at, uh, for a, pl a person, sorry, Club Bruges, who was dying of cancer. The, the person had one wish was to meet Matty Ryan before he died. And the, 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 the guy died two or three days after he met Matty, and Matty, uh, you know, gave him his shirt and spent a whole day with him. And that's the type of person he is. He's, he's very grateful for the life he's having, but uh, for the way he was brought up. And his, his mother brought him up on great, mor uh, great morals. And uh, you know, and he's, he pays back to the fans.